In this video, we will discuss about upstream open reading frame rule in mRNA translation. So we will start with the figure in the figure on the left hand side. So the panel A represents the different condition uh, of this upstream open reading frame translation. So we will start with the first condition. So the the sequence that is represented by the red color is the upstream open reading frame and the sequence that is represented by the blue color is the coding sequence or downstream coding sequence so what happens in the first case in the first case the uh, this ribosome will not be able to read the start codon of this upstream open reading frame and in this case there is no translation occur in the upstream open reading frame and the normal translation of this coding sequence occurs so this is known as leaky scanning so one of the reason that we have discussed for this in previous videos is that this could happen either because of a limited uh, limited availability of uh, ternary structure so in the second case is the reinitiation condition. What happens is that the translation of upstream open reading frame, uh, frame occurs in this case and after the termination of this upstream uh, open reading frame the translation again begins at the coding sequence at the start codon of this coding sequence and the translation of this coding sequence will occur in, uh, normally. Uh, however, there is another case of reinitiation uh, that is uh, in which the translation of upstream open reading frame occurs normally. However, because of the translation of this upstream open reading frame, it will affect or it will uh, suppress the translation of the, uh, the translation product of upstream open reading frame will suppress the translation of this downstream coding sequence so in this case there is a reduced translation of this coding sequence the last case is the stall or drop off so what happens in this case is that the uh, only the translation of upstream open reading frame occurs after that uh, either uh, the nonsense coding uh, The nonsense coding uh, of this mRNA uh, will will be triggered uh, because of the presence of undesired uh, recursive exon that we have discussed in our previous videos or there is no translation because of the product that is formed from upstream open reading frame. So this is the different conditions at which different situation of the translation of upstream open reading frame now in the panel b is shows the different conditions at which open reading frame and coding sequence occurs first one is the non overlapping then this examples panel a examples are of non overlapping second one is the out of overlapping that is some part of the stop code the part of the stop code of open reading frame will coincide with the coding sequence the third one is the end terminal extension in which upstream open reading frame will overlap the whole coding sequence and now we will discuss uh, some of the evolutionary patterns so first we will start with some preliminary information this is the sequence of the rna mrna and this sequence is known as COSAC sequence of upstream over reading frame and this is the sequence uh, that initiate the translation of mRNA and this is the start codon of up, upstream open reading frame and this whole sequence in the red is known as pilo P or we can say uh, is known as con sequence conservation and this uh, is usually fine in the upstream open reading frame and this is used to determine the 
nucleotides of the upstream open reading frame. The process is not described in this paper. So, and this is the distance from the stop codon of upstream open reading frame to the start codon of coding sequence. So this is how an example of mRNA is shown in this figure. So let us consider in this case this is considered as a 5 prime untranslated region or region close to the upstream open reading frame. In this the mutation of G is occurs with T and this can lead to three conditions. First one is deleterious or we can say is detrimental to the uh, population. So this will be removed from population or exist at lower uh, frequency. This normal condition. We are talking about normal condition. If normal condition is deleterious, and the uh, and this if the mutation of G with T is neutral, then this will exist or become fixed in the population in in continuous generation. And if this thing is beneficial this mutation of G2T is beneficial then with continuous population this will improve and uh, whole G will be we can say the mutation of G will be done by this uh, T until it becomes fixed and the maximum benefit is stabilized in case of the mutated condition so with uh, continuous generation with generational uh, evolution this G will be mutated with T as it is most beneficial to the population and in panel C shows uh, two examples in which upstream open reading frame is uh, cons uh, conserved or it comes from the uh, elemental trans transpose elements uh, transpose elements or from the axon of the some proteins so here it is shown that this upstream open reading frame comes from the axon 2 of this alu jb and uh, this rhizo uh, ribosome profile is obtained from the bioinformatic data that is available and this is the another example in which upstream open reading frame is obtained from the axon 2 of this mirc and same here the bioinformatic data is available is obtained from the bioinformatic data through this ribosome protecting fragment these are the ribosome protecting fragment that is shown here in the red color and these are the ribosome protecting ele elements in the fragments these are the ribosome protecting fragments in the shown in the blue color that is present in the coding sequence same it is shown here so i hope you have understood basic about this upstream operating frame role in mRNA, mRNA translation if you need to understand this thing in details you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time